In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Outlaw Pass number two that was just released on the 13th of December 2019. I'm going to be running through all the items and the unlocks that you get with this Outlaw Pass, and you can work out whether it's worth the money that it costs. So let's get into it. Now the first thing to look at here is the fact that the Outlaw Pass this time round costs you 40 gold bars. Now that is a massive amount of gold bars. If you're just going to do that through microtransactions and actually purchase the gold bars, then that's going to cost you a ton. Also, you may not be like regular players where you have gold bars just sitting in your account ready to go for the next update. Me, myself, I just bought the Moonshiners content for 25 gold bars and I'm about to buy the Outlaw Pass here, but actually I don't even have enough myself and I'm a regular player of Red Dead Online. So it almost cornered me into purchasing the Outlaw Pass through actually getting gold bars in the store. Instead of doing this, I'm gonna run around and do some daily challenges, get some gold bars through that method so I don't actually have to put in you know, 8.99 of my own money to get the minimum amount of gold bars. So it's something you're gonna to have to really consider if you're gonna put money into this game. Is the content in this Outlaw Pass worth those 40 gold bars? Another thing to consider as well is that you do get 40 gold bars back after you go through all 100 ranks of this Outlaw Pass. So you do see, you know, the in-game currency come back to you if you work through all 100 ranks. Last Outlaw Pass, it was ridiculously easy to go through the ranks and it took barely any time. Not sure what it's going to be like this time. It might take a little bit longer, but it seems similar to the last one. But I suppose we'll have to find out really. Let's say you don't unlock the Outlaw Pass straight away and then you move up to rank 5 then you can still unlock everything in this section down here because it will automatically unlock that stuff when you eventually purchase the Outlaw Pass. So you can always come back to it if you're not absolutely desperate for the content. But, you know, let's find out as we work through these rank rolls and the rewards. So starting off with rank number one, this is the anchor flag that you raise in your camp. So this is just a variation of those animal flags that we got last time that you can raise at your camp. Alongside this, you get a 15% roll XP boost as well as the Cleland outfit. Now, the roll XP boost, if you are going <laughs> to, I've just said, you know, you can always come back and unlock it at a later date. But if you really are going to be working through your rolls, then getting that 15% roll XP boost is worth it. That's going to make a significant difference to your, you know, your speed of going up through the ranks of the new roll. And maybe some of the older rolls if you haven't completed those yet as well. So moving on to rank number two, you get the Rex Road boots. Now these, yeah, they look all right. Uh, as well as, oh, okay, you get another eye patch. Okay, that, yeah, that looks all right, not too bad. At rank number three, you get the buck photograph, a photograph of a buck to decorate your moonshine bar. Okay, so I've unlocked the moonshine shack and I'm imagining that this is going to sit on one of the walls in the main room of the shack. And I'm going to guess that there's going to be some variations of these images uh, that we unlock later in the Outlaw Pass. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be some more animals, but uh, we'll have to see. Rank number four is five gold bars, as well as a gun care parcel, which is just full of gun oil. Rank number five is an ammo parcel, along with a stable stool, which is 30% off a stool, which stores a new horse. Moving on to rank number six now, the cloth wrap ginger, a colored cloth wrap that can be applied to any owned repeater rifle or shotgun. Alongside that, you also get the collectibles parcel. So obviously that does what it says on the tin. That's gonna give you various collectibles when you get to that rank. At rank 7, you get a treasure map. At rank 8, you get a fast travel token, as well as a harmonica piece for Crips to play at your camp. Moving on to rank 9, you get the theatre background for the photo studio. Moving on now to rank 10. Okay, yeah, that looks cool. The painted stag mask. Yeah, I like this one. This is very cool at rank number 10. Alongside that, you get $50 reward and Rex Road pants, which also look very good. Rank 11. You get a horse care parcel, which has just got special horse revivers and that sort of stuff. Rank 12, you get a provisions parcel, a hunting parcel, and a resupply. Okay, so that's one free resupply. That costs $20 to get a resupply from Crips anyway, so I'd see that really more as a $20 token than anything, to be honest. At rank 13, you get an old dance, which is the emote. An ability card unlock. Okay, so at rank 14, you can use this to unlock an ability card that you haven't yet unlocked. This is interesting. I wonder if you can... Surely you can't use that to upgrade the ability card because that would be hundreds of dollars worth of upgrades you could get with that. Um, but I imagine if you haven't already unlocked all the ability cards, that you can use this ability card to get one for free, which is, is not too bad, actually. Moving on to rank 15 now, there's the Surrender Remote. I imagine the role players will enjoy using that one. And the Honor Change as well. You can change your Honor for free. Moving on now to rank 15, 
you get to clear your bounty token. Okay, so if you want to go on a rampage through Sandini, kill everyone, but you don't want to pay the money for your bounty, then you can clear it using this free token. At rank 17, you get the collectibles and the ammo parcel. Moonshine ingredients parcel at rank 18. I imagine that might be similar to something like Crips's token, where you get the materials for free. Maybe that helps you on your way of leveling up the Moonshiner. Moving on to rank 19, you get the Lally Cola. That's difficult to say. The flag for your camp, alongside the horse care parcel again. Moving on now to rank 20, the Mash Refill. Okay, so get one Mash Refill to aid your Moonshine operation. So I've only done the introductory part of the Moonshiner role so far, but I imagine that this is similar to what I said about Crips's uh, resupply free token I imagine it'll be something like that again you also get five gold bars at this rank as well so you begin to rate back the 40 gold bars that you outlaid for the outlaw pass to begin with provisions parcel is at rank 21 with rank 22 yet yeah, being uh, another photo for your moonshiners shack so that will go on the wall in there yeah as i thought it might be it's featuring another animal i'm sure we'll see some of those as we go through these ranks together as well rank 23 is an ingredients parcel treasure map at rank 24 select offhand holsters so get one select offhand holster unlocked before rank 70 you get the rex road shirt and vest as well and the turquoise buckle yeah that, that looks pretty good actually i like that one very very um ornate i love it moving on to rank 26 you get another ammo parcel you get a resupply at rank 27 again for crips an ammo parcel a moonshiners ingredients parcel and a collectibles parcel at rank 28 select saddles which is 40 percent off select saddles at rank 29 and then finally on this section is the camper outfit for crips which sits alongside select horses at 30 percent off this outfit i'm not too sure I'm not sold on this one not great for me there's a loads of good uh, crips outfits um this doesn't stand out to me but it might stand out to you you'll have to let me know in the comments below fast travel token at rank 31 the Rebels pose, that looks pretty good. All those guys looking good there. Take aim in a posse portrait at rank 32 with the Rebels pose. Rank 33 is the horse care parcel again. A weapons parcel at rank 34 alongside a $50 token. Another cloth wrap in cream at 35. And the Rex Road bandana. Okay, that looks good. I like that one. Reminds me of like a summer picnic blanket or something like that. Those traditional classic ones that you see in the films. Harmonica piece, a new piece of music for Crips to play at your camp. Select vests at 50% off at rank 37. Rank 38 is five gold bars. Rank 39, another ingredients parcel for the Moonshiners and an ammo parcel. And then finally, rank 40, the bear photograph. That's the best looking animal we've seen on the wall of the Moonshiners, I think, so far. Love our grizzly bear. Uh, and the resupply token as well for Crips, again. Rank 41 now is the catfish flag for camp. Rank 42 is the honor change. A fishing parcel at rank 43, which has baits and lures and all that sort of stuff in it. Ability card unlock again at rank 44. And the Rex Road... Oh, okay, love that. The Rex Road coat at rank 45. Love a massive fur collar. Love that coat. Really rate that. And sticking in theme with that Rex Road coat is 50% off select coats unlocked before rank 15. Snowfall background at rank 46 is another background in the photo studio. Select camp equipment, select items for your camp at 30% off. The Harshaw Gauntlets at rank 48, they look all right. 25 XP roll boost, now that is pretty good. At rank 49 though, that's almost halfway through the entire Outlaw Pass before you get a 25% roll XP boost. That is very valuable. I don't know, it doesn't say how long that exactly lasts, but 25% is a big chunk. If you're looking to grind out some legendary bounties, that could get the total XP of those missions up to almost two and a half thousand xp per mission that is very valuable select vests get 50 percent off vests again the tiger's eye buckle at rank 50 that's another variation of the buckle we saw before and sitting alongside that is five gold bar token as well gun care parcel at rank 51 fast travel for free at rank 52 pitman shirt as well at rank 52 yeah that one that one looks all right Horned Jesus, Horned Demon Mask at rank 53. God, that looks like something out of a sex dungeon or something. That looks absolutely mental. That is so rock star, that style of mask. So if you want to make your horse look like some deranged sex pervert unicorn, then, you know, stick this mask on it. I'm sure it'll appreciate it. Rank 54 is an ingredients parcel and a mash refill again. 
and the Rex Road hat at rank 55. That is a good looking hat, like it. Rank 56, select outfits again at 50% off. Jolly Jack's flag for your camp. Move into 58, you get the collectibles parcel as well as the Greenhorn walking style. Okay, these guys look look swagged out, looking good with a new walking style. So if you feel like changing from your mincing around, you know, <laughs> Saint Denis, then uh, you can change to this strutty kind of walking style is what it looks like to me anyway. Another ability card unlock at rank 59 and the Squire outfit for Crips at rank 60. That one looks all right. It's a bit better than the first one, I think. And you also get a five gold bars token alongside that as well. Rank 61, Pitman Pants, they look okay. Provisions Parcel and Ammo Parcel at rank 62. Company Pose at rank 63, those guys are looking good there. Rank 64 gives you select vests again. They're pushing these vests for some reason. 50% off of those. And at rank 65, you get the cloth wrap in the color ash. Rank 66, another Ammo Parcel. $200 at rank 67, that's pretty good. It's a token of $200, I like that one. The Pittman Neckerchief. Now that looks the spitting image of something we've already got in terms of neckerchiefs. Maybe we don't have a red one. Um, maybe they're finding a gap in the wardrobe and filling out, but that's okay. Select Saddles, 40% off Select Saddles at rank 69, along with the Old Blood Eyes flag for your camp. You get the Graceful Dance at rank 70, which is another remote, alongside a Mystery Reward. Okay, obviously, as it says on the tin, we've got no clue what that is right now. Change of appearance, waive the change of appearance fee at rank 70 if that's something that you want to do. Beach background set at rank 72, again for the photo studio. Lucifer's cradle flag for your camp. Select outfits at 50% off. And the citrine buckle, a golden buckle with three citrine stones in it. Again, that's a similar variation to the buckles that we've seen previously in the Outlaw Pass. You also get five gold bars at rank 75 as well. Cage Viper, Jesus, look at that one. Cage Viper mask for the horse. Now that is uh, that is a weird looking mask. Not a big fan of that one. I think the uh, the ones before, especially the one with his stag horns, or should I say the stag antlers, look a lot better. On rank 77, you get the Pitman boots. They look all right. Collectibles parcel at rank 78. And the fox photograph, again, another animal for your moonshine shack. Rank 79 seems an ammo parcel and a resupply order at Crips Trading Company at rank 80 alongside, whoa, Belcourt Tinted Spectacles, looking very Elton John there. Loving those ones at rank 80. At rank 81, you get select weapons at 30% off. 30% off at rank 82 for camp equipment. The coin flip emote, I like that one. So I imagine you're flipping the coin and then maybe it zooms in to see if you've got heads or tails. Like that one a lot. I can imagine, again, the role players in the community will definitely make use of that one. Moonshine ingredients parcel and a collectibles parcel at rank 84. And at rank 85 is a wild dance. You dance raucously. I'm guessing maybe this is the best use when maybe Crips is busting out a tune on his harmonica at camp. You can bring this one out. Rank 86 now gives you another five gold bars with rank 87 giving you provisions and ammo parcel. The Pitman hat is unlocked at rank 88. That looks pretty basic, to be honest, at rank 88. That's quite high up, in my opinion, to have a pretty basic looking hat. Rank 89 gets you 50% off selected coats. Oh, nice, okay. And the Husky is unlocked at rank number 90. That's your camp dog, the one that protects you from all evil that could come into your camp. Now, I love Huskies. That is definitely something that I'm gonna be interested in, swapping out my current dog. Nothing wrong with my current dog but I'm a big fan of Huskies, so yeah, love that one at rank 90. At rank 91, you get a collectibles parcel and another treasure map. At rank 92, you get the mercenary outfit for Crips. Okay, that, in my opinion, is the best one that we've seen so far on the Outlaw Pass, going through all these items. Uh, definitely better than the one we saw uh, at the start. The Prairie Moon Flag is unlocked at rank 93, alongside the Pitman Coat. Okay, that looks good. Love a tassel. Love a tassel, I do. So uh, yeah, I'm a fan of that one. Moving on to rank 94, Moonshiner's background set. Yeah, that makes sense. Very in fitting with the new role that's been introduced to the game. And the Cloth Wrap Crimson at rank 95 is unlocked. Now, we are about to move on to the final five items of the entire Outlaw Pass. And in my eyes, these are crucial items, to be fair. It's always the top items that I think people are really most excited about unlocking. So, Rockstar, let's see what you got. Let's, let's bring it on. So, rank 96, the Rebellion Poncho. Okay, yeah, I like that one. That looks very smart. Big fan of that one. 
at rank 96 there. At rank 97 is another harmonica piece for Crips. Do you know what? Actually, if that is... I know this is a pretty long stretch for me to be asking for this. Well, maybe it's not. I don't know. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. But to get the house building theme from the story, if Crips was playing that in camp, I'd love that. That'd be class. Um, also at rank 37 you get new threads which is an emote to show off your new clothes the sab Jesus the saber tooth mask for your horse at rank 98 that is so rock star something like that absolutely mad really like that one at rank 99 you get another mystery reward okay hopefully that's a good one no idea what it is now but you know five gold bars again at rank 99 so at this point you've got your complete 40 gold bars back so you know almost paid for your your outlaw pass in a way and then finally at rank 100 the Haraway. oh nice okay that is arthur morgan all day long absolutely love that outfit god that gives me so much nostalgia for playing this story mode uh that's such a good way that rockstar have you know tied in the story somewhat to the online really like that one great great idea and you also get the ruby buckle which is another variation of the buckles we've seen previously in the outlaw pass of this Outlaw Pass 2, that is. And, yeah, I think it's the best-looking one of the bunch. Definitely. So, there you go. That is all the items that you can unlock with the Outlaw Pass 2. In my opinion, I think, you know what, it, it's... I don't know. Is it worth the 40 gold bars? If you've already got them in your account, you may as well go for it, you know, and, and get it. Because you'll get the 40 gold bars back if you're a regular player. Anyway, moving your way through these ranks. But for those of you that need to put money into the game to be able to afford this Outlaw Pass then you know, let me know what you think. Is this something that you're going to be buying? Or do you not play the game enough to get those 40 gold bars back? Or does that you know, just not apply to you? Is there anything in particular as well that's actually driving you to get the Outlaw Pass? I think sticking Arthur Morgan's outfit here at the end is definitely a good idea um, from Rockstar's part of getting people to play through to the end of the uh, Outlaw Pass. But I, for one, I will be getting it. I just need to do a few more daily challenges to get my gold bars up from 38 to 40. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. I'm going to be doing some more videos on the update over the weekend. So stick around for those. Thanks for watching. I'm James Cookie. Cheers.